Today we'll be taking apart a Honda 200SX. Taking off the head here. That's the head cover. All right, we'll pull the cam chain tensioner, which is right here beside the intake. It is actually on the cylinder right beside the starter. That'll break loose, there's your cam chain tensioner there. We'll pull this top motor mount, the 12 millimeter head, or yeah, 12 millimeter bolts. Three bolts holding that on. There is the top motor mount. We'll pull the bottom, or that intake boot, eight millimeter bolts holding that on. There's two of those, and this will Break loose. This has got aluminum on it. Uh, these are notorious for cracking around the edges. Top cover is ready to come off for the head. This has the rockers in it. That'll pull right off. There's your rockers there. We we'll can we'll pull that cam chain tensioner so there'll be no tension on this chain. We can pull this cam, two 10 millimeter bolts on the top here, cam chain, you can just lift that cam up, kind of pull that cam chain off. Next we'll pull the, the cylinder head bolts, you got two 10 millimeter bolts on the side here, little castle nuts, so make sure you don't forget to pull those off before we start trying to remove that head, leave that. Cylinder head ready to come off. That pulls off there like that. The valve is off. The cylinder head with the valves in it. <clears throat> the head gasket here and here is a cam chain guide. That cam chain is kind of stuck down in there with it. So then two 10 millimeter down farther. Kind of walk this out then. Starter will have O-rings on it. If you break that seal, a lot of times it'll just slide right off. You can just pull right up. Get the piston off, and I'll dig that cam chain out of there. That way, if we need to spin that piston or that crank, we won't damage the crankcase. And just kind of pry on the side of that circlip, that uh, circlip out, and we can just push the piston to, or the pin through. And then we'll put that circlip back in and inspect that piston really good. All right, now on this one, this case broke at one time. Somebody got eight millimeter bolts all the way around this recoil here. There's your recoil. When you spin a recoil, this arm should pop out. And that's what grabs that starter gear cup off of there. Careful, we'll pry on this recoil cup. That's as long as it is there, so it's not. Don't have to pry hard to get that off. Then we'll go around and pull all the eight millimeters holding this stator cover on. There's an idler gear here behind this starter and that little cover there. There's the idler gear. We just walked it off there. There's the stator. Like I said, there's this would have been resealed at one time. Parts are still good, but we'll inspect those and test them. Here's the other idler gear here. We'll pull this gear off. And then we will pull the flywheel off, go to the other side, pull the clutches off. 